in Creo Parametric, you can create a manufacturing NC model in order to define your CNC toolpaths to machine a part. And there are three different ways that you can locate your reference model in that manufacturing NC model. Let's take a look at that. In the first situation, here is the reference model that I want to machine. So to create my brand new manufacturing NC model, I will go to File and then New, and then I will change the radio button to Manufacturing. The subtype is automatically set to NC Assembly, which is what I want. Then you can change the file name. You can add a description in the common name field. I'm just going to leave the default name and leave the common name blank. And here's the option to use a default template. I want to show you where your default templates are in case you don't have one that is customized for your company yet. So I'm going to uncheck this option, then click the OK button. And in the new file options dialog box, right now it's showing me a template in here, but this is not the one that I want to use. So I will click on the browse button. Let me navigate to where they are on my computer. So let me go to my top level and then my C drive and then program files. I'm going to move over to the PTC folder. Right now I'm looking for my load point for where Creo Parametric is installed. And inside of the load point, there is a common files folder. And then inside of there, there is a templates folder. Now I'm going to go back to this location two more times. I'm going to save myself a little bit of effort by right clicking on the folder that I want to go to and adding it to my favorites, just a little bit of a shortcut. And so now let me go into the templates folder and here are the different manufacturing NC templates that are provided to you by PTC. And the first four, well, those are in inch pounds if you are using imperial units. And the last four are in millimeter newton seconds if you are using metric, the metric system. And you'll also notice that some have EMO in the name and some have NC. If you're using the expert machinist extension, you want to use the EMO ones, but I'm using regular Pro NC, so I'm going to use the NC ones. And I want to grab the ones for millimeter newton seconds. And you'll notice that there are ones that say ABS and the others that say REL. ABS is for absolute accuracy, REL is for relative accuracy. In manufacturing, you're always going to use absolute accuracy, so I'm just going to grab this one to begin with. So let me click on the open button and then I will click the OK button once more. We have our manufacturing NC model started. Now I need to get my reference model in here. If I go to the reference model drop down, we have three different methods. We can assemble the reference model, we can use inheritance, or we can use a merge. First, let's take a look at assembling the model. And when I assemble it, let me grab that one that I was just looking at and then click the open button. And now for locating it, I can use a constraint. And you might find that the default constraint might not work for you based on orientation. I'm going to use some coordinate systems instead. I want to make sure I'm using this coordinate system. And then let me get, let me get it right out of the model tree. This one over here. That's good. Uh, so that is good for locating it in the model. Let me hit the check mark and we get this warning that it is going to automatically adjust the absolute accuracy value. I am good with that. So I will click the OK button. And now I have my first manufacturing model created. Now let's do that one more time for a different model. Let me go to let's use this one this time. So now I've got this model. And I will click on the new icon in the quick access toolbar. Let's change to manufacturing. Actually, before I do that, I just want to show you that if you go to assembly, there is an NC model option. I showed that in another video, how you can create an NC assembly and then bring that into a manufacturing model. But like I said in that other video, I prefer going right to the manufacturing option with the NC assembly subtype. Let me clear the option to use the default template. Now I will click the OK button. 
And once again, I will browse. And rather than going through all those different folders, well, I saved a favorite so I can get right to that templates folder. Once again, I will use the millimeter, newton seconds, NC, and absolute accuracy. Let me click the open button and then OK. And then I will bring in my reference model. This time I will use the merge option. And so with merge, I will grab that particular part. Now for locating it, once again, I will use coordinate systems. And let me turn off my display dragger, just so that that dragger will not be in the way of selecting the coordinate system. Let me zoom into it, and I like that orientation. I will click the check mark. And now we have the create reference model dialog box. So again, we're bringing in this reference model, and then we're going to create a, another model that's going to merge all of the geometry from this part into it. And you can change the name and define a common name if you want. I'm just gonna go with the defaults and click okay. And once again, we get the warning about the accuracy. I will click the okay button. And if we take a look in the model tree, here we have our reference model with the name that we gave it. If I expand, all we have in here is an external merge feature where it just brought in all the geometry from that reference part. Okay, let's take a look at the third method, and this time I will do it for this particular part. And so let me go to the new button and manufacturing and see assembly. I'll leave the defaults for the file name and the common name in the real world. Be aware, you're going to want to change this, but for the sake of this demonstration, I am not going to. Let me turn off the option to use the default template, and let me browse to the template that I want to use. Again, I saved a favorite, so I can navigate quickly to that folder. Let me grab the one that I want to use by double-clicking on it, and I will click the OK button. And this time I'm going to bring in the reference model by using inheritance. So let's choose inherit reference model. Let me grab the part that I want to use. And once again, for the constraints, let me use coordinate systems. And I am happy with that. Let me hit the check mark to complete the component placement. And once again, we have the create reference model dialog box. Here it lists our design model. You can change the name of the reference model you're about to create and add a common name. For simplicity, I will just click the OK button. And we're getting the warning about the accuracy adjustment. That's fine. And so now when I take a look at the model tree, here we have an external inheritance feature where we can see all the different features that belong to the original reference model. And the nice thing about reference, or excuse me, the nice thing about inheritance is that you can make changes from the original design model. For example, let's say I wanted to manufacture with a different diameter of this hole, or maybe there was some other feature that I didn't want to machine in my NC model, I could suppress those different features. I have a bunch of videos on inheritance that explains how that works. And if I right mouse click on it, we can go to varied items, which shows you or allows you to select which items that you want to change from the original reference model to this reference model. But let me cancel out of here and just pan this over to the middle of the screen. So there you have it. Those are the three different ways of bringing in a reference model to a manufacturing NC model.